we have more people like uh, Mr. Trudabo in Gambia, Gambia will be a better place. Everybody in society has a role to play. Fison Development Foundation, under the leadership of Mr. Mamadou Trudabo, donated 10 brand new computers, 10 brand new latest computers to the Gambia College. And on top of that, he also gave $100,000 to the Gambia College. So that most of the Gambians should emulate from him that uh, if everybody can do what he is doing, I don't think that we will have poor people in this world. During Ramadan, Muslims in the Gambia fast from sun up to sundown daily, not having anything to eat, drink, smoke, or indulge in other social activities. A special feast is prepared for the breaking of the fast where everyone present is invited to partake of the dinner after the all-day fast. Tea is one of the elements used in breaking fast in most Gambian settings. Vision Development Foundation ensured that Muslims within this period had plenty of sugar to take them through the 30 days fasting under the leadership of Mr. Momodu Turodabo, who promised his father to care for the needy and support in a humanitarian way. Gambia hasn't got many Momoduturo Dabos, making him one of the few Gambians who have taught the lives of many in different aspects of life. Fulfilling his promise to his father has been exceptional, many people say. And the founding, founding father, which is uh, our CEO, also took it from the father. So it's a tradition that we are live, living. And then it's important that we support the tradition and making so that it's more modernized, it's more organized and then it's more widespread and because the father was doing it in a community now we're doing it nationally. So you can see that the efforts are much bigger now and then that reflects on the legacies of the father and our CEO also who is very very supportive to the organization. Usually he's the sole sponsor of all the things that we are doing as an organization who is more through Dabo. In the early week of Ramadan in April 2021, Vision Development Foundation began to give out their annual Ramadan sugar gifts in 10 kilogram bags of sugar to various groups and individuals to complement the efforts of Muslims during the fasting period. Mosques across the country benefited, the Gambia College and others. Actually, this is not the first time that we are receiving um, support from Vision Development Foundation. We have been receiving support over the years most often every year we receive support from Vision Development Foundation. But I may mention that we are vulnerable students. Why I say so is, um, coming to Gambia College, we have students, over 300 students that are staying in campus. And these students, they stay without parents and they are not working. So they find it extremely difficult to feed themselves. So on that note, then we call ourselves our vulnerable students for that matter. The security sector, CSOs and disabled groups were not left behind in the distribution. We know we are in the month of Ramadan and uh, it is a hard time as well. Um, we have seen um, the, the prices of basic commodities skyrocketing in the market. So this will go a long way of alleviating some of the difficulties uh, that some of these victims are, are confronting. Ramadan, a month of sharing with people, challenged Vision Development Foundation to reach out to many Gambians as possible. Again, the foundation stretched its arms to the extreme end of the country, targeting communities from Khartoum to Kwena and women groups, all expressing gratitude to Mr. Momodu Trodabo. <laughs> Just when people might have thought it's enough, Vision Development Foundation stepped up its game and added a distribution number to over 5,000 bags of 10 kg sugar since it began distribution. The Gambia Islamic Council also benefited to redistribute to vulnerable groups in the Muslim community and the COVID-19 center. It's very, very important because people are always following us to ask for such assistance since the beginning of Ramadan. We receive some, but uh, to, to have this one also will help us to extend it to them because they are, they are expecting it and they are looking for it. 
As you can observe in this month, sugar is very, very expensive and many people cannot afford it. So to have sugar free of charge is a blessing. So we, we, we are very, very uh, pleased, are very happy to have this assistance from uh, Vision Development Foundation. To wrap it all up, the foundation gave out cattle gifts to Muslim groups and NGOs to celebrate Eid al-Fitr in a grand style with family and friends, as most Gambians could not celebrate Korite in 2020 due to COVID-19 regulations. Um, like what I said, we are never forgotten. Uh, you rightly said uh, by, uh, about three weeks back, he gave us sugar, enough that would cater for us throughout the month of Ramadan. And uh, usually we have what we call central feeding uh, uh, cookhouse. We have a central feeding facility where all soldiers on duty, those who would not have the opportunity to be with their families at the time of the feast. These are the people who really benefit from these gestures. So likewise, this cow will be slaughtered and it will be added to the normal feeding that the soldiers enjoy. So whilst you cannot be with your family and you are within the, 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 the purview of the Gambia Armed Forces, we will still give you extra so that you feel as part and parcel of the community. So they will enjoy as well as if they are in the communities. So this will also be added to their daily feeding until the end of the feast. On Korite Day, Vision Development Foundation gave out cow meat in parcels to groups and other individuals, especially to those who could not afford to put food on the table for their families. Mobodutro Dabo continues his philanthropic work in the Gambia, and Gambians are grateful to him and appreciate his generosity. Ivan Adi Wilson, for Sahel Network TV, Banjul.